What's up guys, my name is Kamil Satar, I'm 22 years old and for the last few years I've been running some dropshipping stores and I've also started my own private label brands and now I'm also involved in a clothing brand called Solitel and I've been able to achieve multiple seven figures over the last few years and I thought I'd share with you guys what a day in the life looks like being a seven figure e-commerce entrepreneur. Good morning, so this is going to be a day in the life of an entrepreneur and dropshipper part three and today is going to be a little bit different because if we look outside, I'm currently out here in Dubai and I have been here for the last two months and the reason why I am here is because I've had a lot of business meetings and a lot of networking events that I've had to do. So what I'm going to start off by doing is getting some breakfast. Now I have woke up at about 10.45 in the morning which is very late for me, I normally wake up at 7 but a lot's changed recently in our businesses so I'll be talking about that a little bit later on when I take you guys into the office but I'm just gonna grab some breakfast quickly and then catch up with you straight away So if you guys remember from my last day in the life if you have watched it which is day in the life of a Q4 dropshipper as you guys know I always have an Actimil in the morning and what I'm also gonna have is some cereal. So what I do also get is my uh, mango juice as well. And then if you come here, you'll see, I'm currently having one of these caramel lattes as well. And I'm also having, well, I've been having either this, Honey Nut Shreddies, or I've been having some Weetabix. So this is pretty much my daily breakfast. So the plan today is I'm going to get my breakfast, I'm going to get washed and dressed and I'm going to head straight into the office because I prefer doing work at the office than I do in the apartment because it just makes life a little bit more easier. And then when I get to the office, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do in the office, how I manage the stores, how I manage my ads, how I manage all the operations for the stores that we have going on. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the bag, like here I go again. I go again. Outside says chirp, not a camera phone. Now. Told you I'ma make. So we're heading to the office right now. Uh, it's gonna take us about five minutes to get there. And as soon as I get to the office, it's the U Droppy office. We have a clothing brand called Solitel, and I'm gonna have a look at the stock, see what we can do with the ads, see what we can scale. Because for the last couple of weeks, we've had some issues with stock. So we've not been able to scale as aggressively as we wanted to. So the main focus is to check the ads, check the stock levels. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna move on to some of the dropshipping sites that we've got running um, and make sure all the ads and all the stock is being done properly and to catch up with the VAs. Oh, my mama, my I'm feeling way out with some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money. So guys, we've made it into the Udroppy office and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through the clothing brand's stock keeping. So if you come here and have a look, you can see I've got the stock keeping open here. So basically, I've just got to make sure that when I'm basically doing the ads, which is right here, I've got to make sure that I'm not going too aggressive with the ads on some of the products that we've got because you can see here we've only got four in stock with four variants so I've got to contact my business partner Jordan um, and just let him know that we might need to do a restock on some of these items because I don't really want to be scaling too aggressively like we have been doing over the last few weeks when there's barely any stock for some of the stuff um, and if you come here again I'm going to show you something so with this clothing brand everything's done all, all in house um, and we've basically started a new collection called Courtside for the summer um, and this is the collection that we've got right now this is the new collection this is only like a quarter of it we've got so much more coming out later on in the next few weeks um, but as you guys can see if you look here some of the courtside stuff is starting to run out um, like these jeans here they're starting to run out as well so I've just got to keep an eye on it but if we look at the analytics um, last month we only did around about ten thousand pounds um, just because like I said we've had to scale it all the way down but if I show you guys basically this year so January the 1st to June the 30th, you can see we've done around about 50,000 um, pounds. And yeah, it's not amazing, but that's because we've only just created the new collection courtside. So we've only just really scaled that out recently. So guys, this is one of the drop shipping stores that we've got. And we're currently at $546 a day. Um, for the last yesterday, we did around about 1.3K. 
um, and for the last 30 days we've done around about uh, 24k but if we actually look at the last let's say quarter from the start of April to the end of June you can see we've done around about 131k which is absolutely amazing um, and basically we're going to scale this to around about seven figures within the next few months we've already done around about i don't know how much we've done with this store we've done quite a lot with this store so if i go from the first of january all the way to the first of july we are getting quite close to the 200k mark but again this is going to be for q this has all been prepared for q4 so q4 is where we're going to scale this one to seven figures so that's another store that i thought i'd show you and like i said i'm going to be focusing today really on the actual clothing brand because that's the priority so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be managing managing the ad sets and the campaigns on facebook ads for the clothing brand um, and I'm just going to be seeing what needs turning off, what needs turning on, what might need scaling and then comparing that again, like I said, to the products that we've got in stock. So I'm going to start off with the oldest campaign first, where it says date created. And just to let you guys know quickly that I manage, so this is a business relationship between me and my partner, Jordan. I manage all the marketing, so I'm like the CMO and he does like the design work, the delivering, the logistical side. I literally just focus on the advertisement part because that's where my skills are the best. So from now, I'm just gonna be diving into this campaign, looking at these ad sets, seeing which ones have done well, which ones haven't done the best, and then making decisions on what should go next and what shouldn't. So from what I can see, the best interest here is this Zara interest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these ones off and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the Zara interest three times. And again, if you guys wanna learn a Facebook strategy that I use for the stores that we run, I'll leave that in the cards. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna duplicate these um, and basically just get on with cracking on and working out what's wasting money and what isn't. Don't step on a so I've just finished off doing the ads and the stock keeping uh, for the advertisements. So I have got a call arranged with my business partner in the next 20 minutes. But in the meantime, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the content that I've had made for one of the stores that we're running. Um, this is a company that I use where I send the product out and they go out there and record the content for me. Um, so what I'm just going to quickly do is I'm just going to play a couple of these videos and see if the content creators made the videos the way I've wanted them done for the product and do I feel happy with them. And if not, I'm just going to give them some requests that I want to done that I want making and changing. So um, yeah, that's this is pretty much what I do for the next like 30 minutes. I just go over all the content that we've received back for some of the products to make sure that they fit the required area that we're cu currently looking for. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to be going through this website called Peakster where it shows me other winning Facebook ads for certain dropshipping products. And what I do is I crawl through the website and I just spend about 25 to 30 minutes having a look at some potential new products because. Me and the team are always looking for new products to sell. Now, I'm not a one-man team. There's at least six to seven of us in the team, and I don't just run one store on my own anymore, but there's loads of us within that store. And I just like to have a look at the products that are currently trending and send them to the team, and then we just quickly scale them and see if we can make them a winner. But what we also do is we take it to the next step. We also actually private label some of these products as well. Um, so when we do find these winners, um, instead of just taking it from AliExpress, we'll get it private labeled and then take it to the next level. And then that way we're killing our competitors. Yeah, so for an ex I'm gonna give you guys an example of that in terms of us taking winning products that we find on Facebook and then private labeling. So this is one of the stores, this one's called Maya Brush. Um, and I'm just gonna show you the stats for this store. Um, we did influencer marketing for this store. It has currently died out because we haven't worked with any influencers since then. But you can see during this period, the 7th of January to the middle of January, we did 8K within that time frame. So this is a uh, product that we found on uh, the, the tool that I showed you. We found it on this tool here. And what we decided to do was actually private label the product. And as you guys can see here, this is us private labeling it. And this is a nice branded looking website and we called it Maya Brush. So that's just an example of what I mean when I go through this tour, have a look at some products that I wanna use and then take it to the next level by actually private labeling it. On the way quickly to get my lunch because it's almost two o'clock right now and I need my lunch break quickly. So I'm heading over to Spinney's to get a quick chicken biryani and then I'll catch up with you guys again when I get back into the office. Wherever that wind blows the end of so guys, I'm currently on the call with my business partner, Jordan Nicklin. What's the latest on the courtside drop? Courtside 
the season process at the minute. Um, dropped a little capsule obviously earlier in the year, um, sort of teaser, to obviously what we're bringing to sort of the collection. Um, obviously it's influenced by obviously basketball fashion, what comes with that really to the whole sort of culture. Um, obviously the on court and off court fits. Um, but looking to drop the full capsule um, late in July. Obviously the full men's and women's wear range, so it's really looking forward to it to be honest. And for those that don't know what solar tile means, what does solar tile mean? So it's has identity, obviously, for the buying streetwear, um, influenced, obviously, by urban design, different cultures, um, the brand meaning, obviously, one and others. And that's something that I want to sort of carry through, obviously, with the brand, so the unique sort of streetwear identity. Yeah, man, and do you think Q3 and Q4 is going to be the biggest drop for Solar Tile for the, for the whole of the existence? For sure, I think we've seen the existence, obviously, the growth of the brand, obviously, UK and globally. Um, and she should move into a new sort of what tier, I'd say. Okay, now we've educated the audience. Now let's talk a little bit about the ads that we've got running, bro, and yeah. the uh, the stock to ads. So I'm on the site now looking at some of the stock. What would you say is ready to scale quite aggressively that from courtside? I can see the jeans yeah. have got a full stock. For sure, yes. Obviously, we've done a really good demo campaign. Uh, so we'll obviously restart fluently. Um, so sort of three different colorways as well, and um, so obviously with the ads, we didn't show the rest of the bows, and obviously it led to the growth. Um, same with the sunglasses as well, so obviously the range of eyewear, obviously it started at the start of the year, and obviously carried through, adding a few more some designs later in the summer. Um, and the same with those, like the really good to push, obviously had really good interest and return on them, and obviously just for the quality of the product as well, so the customers are really happy with them. So guys, it's around about three o'clock right now. I've just finished the call with my business partner, Jordan Nicklin. Um, just talking about the clothing brand and what we've got planned for the rest of the year. Now, I've done all the Facebook ads. I've done all the content creation and everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I have like this midday relaxation break. So I'm gonna go into the main office and I'm gonna play some FIFA with my good friend, Carlo, who is the CEO and owner of Udroppy. So let's go and play some FIFA. Yes, bro, you can't get beat on FIFA. Man, this is not gonna happen. So if I win, you go to Italy. Yeah, deal. If I lose, I go, go to, to Brussels. I go to Brussels. Deal. That's, uh... So guys, this is Carlos from Udroppy. Hey, hey there. So what is Udroppy? So we are connecting merchants with professionals like product suppliers and logistics centers. Um, so that's kind of the main big problem in the industry. Like so many people want to go into e-commerce, but it's such a hard thing to find really trustable suppliers. And that's what we do. And um, we think that we are you know, the platform for change, kind of moving people from usual drop shipping from China to like really building brands and really uh, help those guys to build successful businesses. Oh, with the, the first e-commerce tournament. So guys, we've just come back from the office and it's around about 20 to five in the evening. And what I'm gonna do now, I've done all the big important work like the ads and everything. Now I'm gonna kick back and do more of the content creation work on my YouTube channel. So what I've actually got on my YouTube channel is a membership. So you can see here it says join. Now when you click that button, hey it basically takes you to this page where you can join to earn rewards by becoming a member. Like you get loyalty badges, we have private chats. Um, and then I've got another tier where you get free cheat sheets early. So what I do is I go to the membership section and I reply to everybody that's part of the membership. I reply to your comments, I read your comments, I interact with you, and then I go through this for about half an hour to an hour a day to make sure everybody in the membership group is getting my attention and getting the answers that they're looking for. So guys, it's half five, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sit back and relax and just take some time out to think, and then I'm gonna have my dinner in about half an hour to an hour. Now, the reason why I'm not doing as much work as I used to do, if you watch some of my older daily uh, day in the life videos, you'll see that I work a lot more uh, during the evening. I'm not working as much anymore as because I've got a bigger team in place now where they look after a lot of the stuff that I used to have to look after myself. So it gives me more time to sit back and enjoy and relax. Um, so that's why I'm not working as aggressively as I used to back in the day. But it doesn't mean that the work isn't getting done or it doesn't mean that the goals that we set in place haven't been achieved like 
we're making more in revenue and profit now than when I was when I was working even harder because it's all about getting something, taking it to a certain level and then maintaining it by building a team around it because you don't wanna be making a lot of money, have freedom and then not be free because you're stuck to doing work all the time. It's all about managing teams and making sure that you're able to distribute yourself in many different places. I think it's around about 6.37 p.m. in the evening and I'm having my dinner that my beautiful partner made me. And then once I've had my dinner, I'm gonna sit back and relax, potentially watch some videos that I can learn from, maybe meditate for a bit, or I might go and look at the markets because when we make money in our e-commerce businesses, we do invest the profits into cryptocurrency. So I might have a quick look at the chart to see if it's a good buying opportunity at the moment. So guys, it's around about 7 p.m. And what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be looking at the charts. Now, this might not be e-commerce related, but it kind of is as well because we're taking the money from the e-commerce businesses and profit and putting it into crypto um, to obviously let the money mature. Money in the bank's not the best thing. So as you guys can see, I'm currently looking at the charts. Now, I wanna make something very clear. I am not a trader. I just look at charts to look at when I think it's a good time to enter the market. Um, because obviously you don't wanna enter the market when the market's up. You wanna be entering it when it's down. And at the moment, we're putting all of our money in our, in our businesses econ ones into ethereum which is the second biggest uh, cryptocurrency apart from bitcoin and we believe that it's going to outperform bitcoin so we're looking to put a lot of money into the market today and um, we do it every week we put what we make every week into the market so i'm just looking at the chart and i think it's a good time to enter the market so i'm going to put a bit of money in um, now i do actually have a telegram chat about e-com investments where we invest our e-commerce profits so i'll leave the telegram chat in the description um, but i'm just gonna finish the day doing this and then i'm gonna spend some time with my partner watch a bit of tv relax so guys let me know if you also want to see a um the e-com king weekly episodes where i do like a day in the life but throughout the whole week and then re upload the video at the end of the week throughout the whole of the week i'll show you exactly what i've been up to i'm sure you guys have seen those kind of videos like the weekly episodes so let me know if you want to see something like that on this channel and i'll be catching you guys in the next day of the life if you don't want those weekly videos Tempo, yeah, yeah,